What up, people? Playing that game, man. NBA 2K11. The game everyone is talking about. I'm going to wait for this music to cut off. Okay, I'm in the replay mode. Save the replay. I want to show you guys something. First of all, this is funny. <laughs> Look at the jersey. I'm playing Atlanta. This is funny. Now, before I show you guys this, this is not in the game. For some reason, the replay saved like this. So, I don't know why I did, but keep in mind again, this is not in the game. The game is playing just fine. So, for those guys who like to complain, you know, whatever, man. This is, I, just, I guess this is a, is a glitch in the replay. This is the first time I've ever seen this. But anyway, I want to show you guys the ball physics. And first, before I do that, let me shout out Versus. You know, shout outs to Versus, because my man Versus is working on sliders, you know, and that's what he does best. And we all know that, so I'm very excited about his sliders, because looking at his videos, I'm seeing some very good things. So, listening to his video, I noticed he said he turned down the, um, I believe it's the inside contact, as far as the, uh, you know, the shot contact or what have you. He turned it down to 80. Now, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but I believe he said he turned it down to 80. So, I'm just trying to tinker with the sliders a little bit based on what he's saying, you know. And, I don't, and keep in mind, I don't know what else he's doing, but I just tried that out. And I must say... You know, I don't know if it's coincidence, if I'm even doing it right, if I'm even adjusting the right thing. I don't know, but I thought that's what Versus said, so I made the adjustment. And look at the ball physics, man. We're going to play this in regular speed real quick. Did you see that? Look at this. Now, I tell you what, of course there's a little bit of morph there, but look, the morph really happens between the body, well not really, he doesn't really touch them, you know maybe there's a slight morph, but that's, that's so simple, who cares, but look at what happens with the ball man, now all of you know this very well, all of you guys who've played this game. If this was on Hall of Fame, that ball will not be affected. This will be a dunk, two points the other way. And yes, guys, I know you're going to say it. I see the little shift here. But, you know, who cares? You know, that's, that's very minor. I see the shift with the guy getting the rebound, so don't act like I didn't. You know, you can call that somewhat of a motion shift there, but, I mean, it, it's not overbearing, so I'm not going to even really complain about that. And once again, for some of you guys who are going to complain, again, the jersey of the Atlanta Hawks does not look like this in the game. It's not a glitch. It must be a glitch as far as the replay, the saved replay. This is a saved replay. All right, but again, man, I just wanted to show you guys that, and I'm very excited about the sliders, man, because I'm seeing some real good gameplay just messing around with the sliders. You know, I'm not really that good at sliders, but I do want to shout out my man Apex is free, Getty and Prime. You know, I, I'm playing with his sliders right now, and I made this minor adjustment based off of what um. Versus says so shout outs to both of those guys, you know Gideon is playing around with the sliders and for the most part The gameplay is a lot better. So I'm really liking what I'm seeing from the both of them That's let lead me to believe that this game I mean already great, but will be fantastic with sliders and before I end the video understand this people I'm starting to understand man the way games are work, you know the way the way they're working you know Sometimes the translation of difficulty, I think that's a problem with a lot of game companies. And I, I think that that's really the reason why sliders are even put in place is for you to adjust the game to your liking. You know, I know a lot of us say, why can't the game come out the box perfect? 
you know, maybe the developers can't get that down. And they allow the user to, you know, play around with sliders or what have you. I don't know. I'm just saying. It seems like it's a theme, you know, even with Madden. Of course, you know, I'm not happy with Madden because of the gameplay, but it seems like it's a theme with every game that you can adjust sliders and make the game do this better or do that better or enhance one area that might have been suffering. So before before we all try to debate and you know bash a game, we need to understand that all these games they none of them play out of the box perfect. So you know let's just exclude that point when we're trying to compare games until it gets to the point where a game is perfect out of the box as far as it's doing everything right. But I think it just must be something in regards to the development with all these games. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Playing the best game, best sports game I think we've ever seen. We'll get back into it and get some more footage. Let me know what you think.